we shall learn about types of data, and how they are handled in C. We shall be restricting ourselves to simple types. Integers numbers are whole numbers. They do not have a decimal point. Examples are 37, 190, etc. They can be represented by these different data types of C. This is the increasing order of their capacities. The char can store 256 values. The short can store 65536 values. The above types can store both positive and negative values. If you want to store only positive values, then a type modifier must be used. The type modifier for non-negative values is unsigned. Floating point numbers are decimal numbers. They contain a decimal point for the fractional part. Float and double types are used to store floating point numbers. This is the increasing order of the precision that they can handle. You might be wondering why everybody doesn't use double only? It can handle both lower and higher precisions? The answer is that a higher capability comes at the cost of a higher memory. A double type requires twice as many bytes as a float type. So the rule is to use double only when you really need it. Single characters, like letters of the English alphabet can also be stored. HR is used to store characters of text. Internally, a char is a number. The trick to store characters of text in a char is to associate a numeric code with them. This numeric code is called ASCII code. This statement stores A in a variable called P. HR in a single quotes is internally stored as a number. Let's see an example with the help of a program. This is how we can store a whole number in an int. Here the variable k stores a floating point number. The suffix f is called a type specifier. It specifies that the literal is a floating point type of number. This variable stores the ASCII value of the literal A. 